Hello Cancer! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using... I want to say it's Cache. I may be saying it wrong. Cache Tarot by Top Hat. Or... Yeah, it's got Top Hat. Uh, TopHatPublishing.com, I believe. I don't think it gave me, like, a creator. Now that I'm thinking of it. Just Top Hat. Okay. Support of Oracle Cards is, R is, whatever, Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish, illustrated by Jesse Reich, and the website's at the bottom there, hayhouse.com, feel free to freeze frame and check that out. I just realized that other deck doesn't really list a creator, which is interesting, but, hmm. tis fine, I suppose. So what do we got for Cancer? Well, that's that's temperance. Hmm. I see temperance here, obviously, because I just said it. But I, my first thought, my gut, my gut instinct, and I'll show you the card in a second. It looks like an angel, and I was like, that's interesting. Um, somebody thinks they're doing the right thing. That's for sure. Um, it's not going to go so well. Somebody thinks they're going, they're doing the right thing. Uh, there's a lot of stress. They think whatever they're doing. Is going to work out. They're putting a lot of effort into something. There's a lot of stress with it. They think what they're doing is going to work out. They feel like it's for the best for everybody. Um, they don't really care for what's going on, which is odd. They're trying to change it so it doesn't keep going the way it's been going. So what do we mean by that? It's like they're trying to change how somebody is how somebody does a certain thing okay i get that there's a lot of effort going on with it they think what they're doing is for the best there's a lot of stress they're trying to change something maybe it's too many changes and they just keep trying something new and trying something new and then trying something new and then trying something new it's kind of like dude calm down give it a second to see if it's going to work out um I, do, I think it's too many changes. It's not giving a situation long enough to settle to see if it's actually working. You know, there's a learning curve and stuff like that. When you try a new process or a new way of doing things, you got to give yourself a, a minute to like let go of what, how you used to do it and get used to the new way of doing things and then give it a, like, settle in and see, like, how it feels. You know what I mean? Um, there's something up with that. There's something... I'm missing something there. I know I am. Two of Cups and the Star card reversed. It's trying to make people happy and not really very, being very truthful. The Star card reversed, that doesn't feel good. That feels like somebody's lying. They may be lying with good intentions, but they're still lying. And that's... I feel like that's one of the reasons we're changing directions so many times. That's one of the reasons. It's also one of the reasons this isn't working right. Um, oh, your card. Your card right off the bat. You're trying to support the situation, which makes sense to me why you are. Um, you don't really see what's going on here. and you're, you're believing in the people that you care about. I feel, I feel like this is somebody you care about that's doing this. And it's not like... They do have, I feel like that's part of the problem. They have good intentions, and you know that they have good intentions. So you don't question their intentions, which is, I understand that, but it's still what they're doing isn't working. You're going along with it, trying to help. You're going along with it, trying to help. A lot of work going on here. The thing is, this all over the place energy for this situation, for this situation, this isn't, this isn't working for this one, not for this one. Um, you're heading towards a tower moment, the way it's going, and they got the Seven of Pentacles reversed, which is telling me all the work that's being put in is not going anywhere. All the work that's being put into this is not going anywhere. You're heading for a tower moment. The sooner you, the sooner you see it, the easier this is going to be for you. What what is what is um, Cancer supposed to do with this really? Nine of Wands reversed, which is letting go. 
the devil card reversed is releasing yourself from bondage. So letting go, releasing from bondage, and then they got literally the let go card. Like the nine of wands, if, you're the, if the nine of wands was right side up, it's holding the line. Reversed is letting it go, like letting things go. Literally, you got a card that says let go. <laughs> then you got the five of pentacles, just separating yourself from the situation. Let go, separate from the situation, which is interesting because Cancer is very loyal. Very, very loyal. So I, I'm, I, I kind of feel foolish saying that to a, a Cancer reading because I'm like, it's like, that's a lot. If you, if you decided you need to be there, that's a lot. The Hierophant's going to take over. The sooner you step out, the sooner the Hierophant steps in and takes over. Um... I don't know who the Hierophant is for you. I mean, it's a general read, but like, how does the Hierophant view Cancer? Ten of Cups. And the Devil half in, half out. They believe that you have good intentions too. They believe you're very loyal, but they also don't believe that you make the best decisions and maybe you're a little biased. Doesn't mean you are, but I just feel like this is somebody who believes that you follow people maybe too far. They do believe that they can trust you to do its best and to look out for people. They just don't believe you always make the best decisions with that. Uh, this, if this helps you figure out who this person is. I feel like this is another reason why you need to step out. Because if you just step out and let the situation heal itself, this person, whoever this is, will come in. They'll put it in order. The situation itself is not going to be fun when that person comes in. Ten of Swords shows up with the Queen of Swords. Um, somebody has to pay for their mistakes. Ironically, the two of these together makes me feel like the Queen of Swords is the one who's paying for the Ten of Swords. Um, the Hierophant is going to make sure that person pays for what they've done. Three of Swords, Seven of Swords. A lot of heartbeat break, a lot of devastation, people getting away with things they shouldn't or trying to. Um, the people who really screwed it up are not, they seem to be ditching. You might as well walk away too. You shouldn't be holding the bag for somebody else's mistake. And I feel like if you stick around, that's what's going to happen. That's where we're going with this, isn't it? Swords, another sword card. Nine of swords, stress. And that, hero, that temperance card is coming in. The hierophant is going to sort things out and put it where it's supposed to go. Um, is the hierophant going to figure out the truth with what happened here? No. Um, there may be a time constraint here. I don't think the Hierophant has the luxury of figuring out what really happened because it's quite confusing. It's a mess. They're, I feel like what they're doing is like we have to take it from where it is now, look at everything we got, put it where it's supposed to be, clean it all up, and just keep moving forward. Do it the way it's supposed to be from here forward. We can't go researching why is this place a mess, why is that there, what happened here, who was responsible for this, who was responsible for that. I feel like the Hierophant's coming in, doesn't like it. The Hierophant would normally, but the, I'm getting they don't have that luxury. But they're like, we need to put this back together, this needs to work correctly. It's kind of like a mother coming into a house. It's completely crazy and disarray, the windows are open. They're like, alright, what's going on? I don't know what's going on, but put things where it's supposed to be, shut those windows. Let's get something cooking for the kids so the kids can eat and just kind of like, let's feed people, get them cleaned up, get the house cleaned up, get people to bed afterwards, and then just go to bed because I don't have time to sit here and sort this out all night. It'll take me two weeks to figure out why this is like this. For right now, put it where it's supposed to go, and then if I have the luxury later of figuring it out, I will figure it out. Um, the Hierophant doesn't seem to have the luxury of figuring it out. So you're just going to get stuck holding the bag. They're saying step out of this situation. It's that's where I feel like they're saying I keep I'm kind of shocked because the hierophant likes to know what something likes to know what why things are the way they are. The hierophant usually likes to know the history of a situation, which is kind of blowing me away that this is coming in this way. But I'm getting the three of swords with the ten of uh, three of swords with the seven of swords is like somebody's getting away with something because it's too messy. It's all over the place. There's so many dead ends. 
and the person that's coming in, whoever this hierophant is, is like, no, it needs. To, we need to feed people. We need to have a warm house. Shut the stupid windows. <laughs> like, they might be a little aggravated. Like, shut the windows. Like, shut them. Get something. All right, no. All right, just get everything out of the kitchen. I'm going to start boiling water. We're going to have pasta. And spa we're having, pi pi we're having um, spaghetti tonight, and we're going to have ice cream and spaghetti, and that's all we're having, and that's it. So everybody start cleaning up their area, clean this up, clean that up. There's no TV tonight. Once everybody's done eating, everybody's going to bed, and then I'm going to bed, and we're done. I'm just done. There's too much of a mess here. Just clean it up. Um, that's how it feels. Like, done. Done. Um, the Hierophant, whoever that person turns out to be, is not happy. Um, just keep that in mind. So they're saying just step out of this. Let the situation heal itself. Come back in later. That way you don't get holding the responsibility for somebody else's mistake. Anything else? All right. I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email. James for Astral at gmail.com. That's James, the number four, Astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thanks again for watching, and have a great day.